Meanwhile, what I'm taking away is Jimmy is very intelligent. Jimmy is very knowledgeable. And you, bro, no top guys in the WWE. That, 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 that's what I'm getting out of this show, Jeff. Brand.com, where the pros are the pros. So what do we got, bro? Who Who's up first in this debut show? The List and your boy. Stop with the Sean Ross sap. Let, 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 let's start there. Bro, unless you are a well-known celebrity, you don't get to use three names or one name. Okay, bro? No. He goes by Sean Ross Sapp because Sean Sapp, bro, th- th- listen, with all due respect, the kids in elementary school had a field day with Sean Sapp. I got no issues with Jimmy Van. He treated me well. The only, the the issue I have with Sean Ross Sapp, I worked with Sean Ross Sapp. I never had any problems with Sean Ross Sapp. My issue with Sean, Sean Ross Sapp is I just think he thinks very highly of himself. I have an issue, bro, with people that think highly of themselves. I, I do. I've, I've, always, I've always had an issue with that. But, you know, off the bat, bro, how highly are we going to think of ourselves, Jeff, when we've got wrestling belts? Bro, it's driving me crazy that his head is in front of that fightful sign, bro. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's driving me freaking nuts. Like, that makes no sense, Sean. Lift it up, bro, or lower the chair. One of the two. Uh, former co-presidents and directors Michelle Wilson and George Barrios to the board, and the move will reinstate I hate man this to the board. For a second. It's a, Sean, he, he, he's working on his computer. Pay attention to what Jimmy is saying because he, he here's the thing, bro. If you're not paying attention to what Jimmy's saying and you don't care what Jimmy's saying, then why should I care what Jimmy is saying? Do you want to specify I did have a top WDB talent that asked me, hey, why did he fire them to begin with? And one of the things that they were opposed to was talent hoarding. So you're right there. Stop for a second. That that that's see this. This is what I mean about Sean Rossap. Oh, I had a. uh... WWE, a top a top top WWE, bro. Think about this for a second. A top WWE guy is in a locker room with other top WWE guys. If he's a top WWE guy, bro, he knows everybody in the industry. But. He's asking Sean Sapp. This is the problem I have with Sean Sapp, bro. He did not have to add this. He is adding this to be self-important, bro. A top guy at the WWE asked me. Really, bro? Like, really, Sean, they're asking you? Because you know what about this? Obviously, you know nothing about this because you're reading from the Wall Street Journal, which is okay. But why is a top guy going to come to you when you're reading from the Wall Street Journal, bro? Anybody else guy, even as delusional as he may be. Stop right there. He just made this again, bro. This is Sean Sapp that has done nothing in the wrestling business. Zero. This is, this is what Sean Sapp has done in the wrestling business. I do a podcast. Bro, anybody can do a freaking podcast. I, I, got a, I got a neon sign behind me that my pumpkin head is covering. Bro, anybody can buy a neon sign. Oh, wait a minute. But I got fake belts over here. Bro, anybody can, fight, can fake fake belts. He just made the comment that Vince McMahon believes that he can do he can do everything better than everybody else, which is delusional. See, that, that that's the problem, bro. This dude right here has probably, not, not probably, has never met Vince McMahon in his life. 
has never had a conversation with Vince McMahon in his life. But to get over with the marks, bro, Vince McMahon's delusional. Triple H is brilliant, but Vince McMahon is delusional. You know what, Sean? As a guy that worked for Vince McMahon, I hate to break the news to you, bro. He can do things a lot better than everybody else. Uh, so that that's how that would work. Now, uh, I want to get again, to not paying the t- attention, bro. I swear to God, if you did this with me, I would be I would cut such a promo on you off the air. That is so, you know what this is like, bro. Th- th- this guys, this is the root of my problem. This is the boss, Jimmy Van. He owns, he founder of Fightful, even though it's a horrible name. This is the owner. He hired Sean Sapp. Okay, Sean Sapp isn't the founder. He's the managing editor. He's not the founder. He hired this dude. Every time the founder talks, Sean Sapp is not paying attention. Bro, this is Sapp saying, Jimmy, nobody cares what you say. I am important. I am the focus. Look look at me, Jimmy. I don't I don't even care what you have to say and you're my boss, bro. This honestly, bro, is so effing rude, bro. This guy is freaking talking and you're you're doing God knows what. Sure to point out uh, oh about well, hold on. Well, <laughs> what, what is he doing now, bro? Now he's catching flies. He's he, wh- threw, what? he threw something. He threw something, I think. Back up there now. I swear to God, Jimmy. Like, Jimmy, you need to freaking slap this guy upside of his freaking head, bro. Seriously, he man. Made sure I, to I, I, I feel like uh, Jimmy's being disrespected. All of these freaking guys, Sap, Johnson, Shera. Alvarez, Meltzer, all of these guys have such tremendous freaking egos. This is the expose. And I'm telling you, bro, you're going to start seeing a lot of the same traits in all of these guys, bro. And, 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 and w- which is the problem and the issue with them. I could tell you right now, bro, watching those eight minutes, I would listen to a Jimmy Van podcast. I, I, I'd have no problem. With, I, I, I would love having a conversation with Jimmy Van. But, but, but this other dude with, oh yeah, I know Top God. Like, come on, bro, stop it, will you?